Hello everyone, I am Sagar Vanushali and I am going to talk about flagella. So uh, flagella are filamentous structures that are responsible for the mobility of an organism. So the question is why should be an organism be motile? Motility enables an organism to move from a non-favorable environment to favorable environment. Okay. Movement of an organism from one stimulus due to one stimulus towards the stimulus or away from stimulus is known as taxis. The taxis can be uh, due to chemical called chemotaxis. The examples for chemotaxis includes oxygen, galactose, whereas if it is due to light, it is known as phototaxis. Further coming to the flagella, if I say a bacteria has no flagella, it is known as ertricus and if it has flagella over its entire surface it is known as peritricus okay the bacteria with no flagella is known as ertricus and the bacteria with many flagella or the flagella over its entire cell or is known as peritricus whereas if i say about only one end If only one flagella is present at one end or its polar end, it is known as monotricus. And if it is if and if it has a tuft of bacteria, tuft of flagella, it is known as lopotricus. So at one end, uh, it is either monotricus or lopotricus. But if it has bacteria at if it has flagella at both the ends, like this it is known as amphitricus so if the if the bacteria has no flagella it is known as ertricus with flagella over its entire surface it is known as peritricus at one end only one flagella it is known as monotricus at one end a tuft of flagella it is known as lopotricus and if it has flagella at both the ends it is known as amphitricus okay so uh, talking about the structure, the flagella has three basic structures, three basic uh, types of structures which are which make up the flagella. The first is the filamentous type of filament, filamentous type of structure. Second is the hook and third is the basal body. The filament structure, the filament structure is like this. The diameter is uniform throughout the filament. The filament is further made up of a globular type of protein called flagellin. This flagellin forms bundles that are intertwined or twisted and form helix around a hollow core. If I simplify this, the flagella, the flag, uh, filamentous region of a flagella is made up of a globular protein. This globular protein forms bundles. This form bundles that are intertwist. Suppose if I say this is the globu uh, globular protein bundle or the flagella flagellin protein bundle, this is intertwisted. So if, if I twist like this, okay. So if I twist like this, it is intertwist, and this further form helix around a hollow core. Suppose if I say this is a hollow core. They form a twist or helical helical formation around the hollow core. Uh, in eukaryotic type of cells, the flagella is further coated by a sheath, but in prokaryotes, it is not coated by a sheath. This is further followed by a hook. The hook is slightly wider as compared to the diameter of the uh, filament. The hook is further made up of n number of proteins but the uh, filament is made up of a flagellin protein flagellin protein okay further the basal body the basal body is made up of a central rod which is inserted into a pair of rings the rings are variable in different type of organisms the in gram positive type of organism there is only one pair of rings but in gram negative type of organism there is two pairs of rings in gram 
negative type of organism if i draw this if i extend this structure in gram negative type of ring suppose if i say this is the rod and this is the ring this is the two pairs of rings the outer pair of rings is anchored to the different regions of the cell wall whereas the inner pair of ring is anchored to the plasma membrane this is the cell wall and this is the plasma membrane while in gram positive type of organism there is only one pair there is no outer pair so the inner pair is anchored to the plasma membrane so this is the difference of the basal body in the gram positive and gram negative type of organisms further this was about the structure this has, this is filament this is the hook and this is the basal body so filament uh, flagella is a semi rigid helical structure that is responsible for the mobility of an organism by the rotation in the basal body rotation from the basal body okay so this disc or as the basal body is rotated uh the rotation of the flagella can be clockwise or counter clockwise the the rotation is almost similar to the shaft of an electric motor when this when there is a rotation in flagella this forms a bundle thereby pushing the surrounding liquid thereby moving the organism in the forward direction suppose if i say there is there are two to three flagella the rotation leads to the bundle of the flagella thereby pushing the surrounding liquid and move, movement of the bacteria in forward direction okay uh, the movement or the rotation is uh, directly dependent upon the continuous energy generation of the cell bacteria generally alter the speed and direction of the uh, mobility the speed is altered by the alter by altering the rotation of the base rotation from the basal body while the direction is altered by the run and the tumble activity of the bacteria further if i simplify this process uh, i if i can say it in if i i can say it in simplified manner uh, first uh, there will be a stimulus the motile type of organisms have uh, n number of receptors in or on the surface of this or in or on the surface of this organisms when there is a stimulus or the stimulus triggers or activates this type of receptors this receptors further signal the flagella for rotation when there is a rotation in flag when there is a rotation from the basal body or the flagella or uh, the bacteria moves or moves away or towards the stimulus okay so uh, first there is receptors first uh, stimulus this stimulus activates the receptors this receptors further signal the flagella for rotation the, the rotation in flagella leads to more mobility okay so uh, mobility is due to the generally due to the stimulus which then signals the receptors this receptors signal the flagella and there is mobility if the chemo if the chemotactic signal is positive the bacteria moves towards the uh, signal that is the bacteria is attracted towards the signal if the chemotactic signal is negative the bacteria moves away from the signal or is or is repelled from the signal okay so this was about flagella i hope you like my video please do like subscribe share thank you